and welcome to a new year 2021. I know that 2020 was a very hard year for all of us and we hope that this year would be a little bit better. Today's episode we have something a little bit different for you. We want to focus on uh, different innovations for a poiki. Now for those that don't know what a poiki is, oh, it, it is the African version of a cast iron pot and usually it has three legs. When it's new, you have to cure it just like you would any other cast iron. When the cast iron pot is hot, there are several things that makes it really difficult to handle. So this is our cast iron pot. When the pot is hot, it is very difficult to sometimes pick up this. You cannot simply use um, your hands for this. A lot of people use a cloth. But when it's really, really hot, some people use this method to take the lid off and we want to find a solution for that. The other thing is sometimes it's hot and you need to take it from the fire. Of course, this is attached and this will also... So, dilemma number two is when people pick up the pot, you know, generally you take a cloth, I mean, you can... I mean, most people would have done this for the lid, but to take the whole thing off, people use a cloth. Now, you tend to touch here, this is all metal, and so we need to find a solution where you don't have to hurt yourself. Right, dilemma number three is when you have eventually uh, cooked and you want to clean your pot. Most people would have done that. Most people would have done this. And then you want to turn the pot to its side to throw the inside out. Now you have these three legs that have been in the fire. They're very hot. And so it would help if you could leverage this and throw this out. And so we want to look at solutions for all of those three. So let's so for get... our first innovation, we want to work on the leg. We better work fast. My dad has already started the fire. Say hi, Dad. Hi. Hi. <laughs> and so, all right, and so we're going to attach the small block. We've made the block a little wide. And what we want to do is drill a hole inside in order to hold the bottom. All right, now I'm gonna have my vise is not available. So I'm gonna have a little bit of a problem trying to secure this piece. I'm gonna try it this way. Maybe, maybe we try it flat. Yep, it's a little bit more control there. And I'm gonna try to drill it maybe from the side to see if we can't go any deeper. All right, what's also important is to know the length of your wood piece and then how deep you want this to go in right so you can have good leverage all right so what we did was we took our drill we drilled in as you can see we went in for about i think about seven uh, centimeters and what you will notice now when we bring the pot pot over is that you can put your wood piece in and you have a nice thing to hold on to. See, hold on while this is hot, slip it in, hold it. So our next idea is to work on a little handle uh, to lift the pot up. Uh, we've already discussed the fact that sometimes it gets hot. So what we have is a big round dowel. Um, I've already gone in to drill through. So you can see it's drilled through. What I tried to do when I drilled it is that one side was a little bit uh, bigger than the other side. And so what we're going to do now is saw it through and then try to maneuver it through this particular uh, handle stand. All right, so I've, so I've got two saws and I don't have my clamp right now, so this is a little dangerous. Don't do this uh, if you're not uh, 
very comfortable. I should not be doing this. This is very dangerous. So I'm going to take my saw and we're going to try to saw through. And uh, so we've sawn this through. And as you can see, um, it won't fit because the line is too small. So what we want to try to do is maybe make another marking and just saw it a little bit bigger just do another line through we don't want it too big slip it over turn it upside down and remove it whenever you don't use it right. cut out two pieces and the idea is to put it together like that and we just orientate it and then we put it together like this with a screw on top and one at the bottom going all the way through so you can lift it up and put it down now the way I've hacked this middle piece out it looks like it's a little bit higher so it means I need to take a chisel and just take a little bit more of the wood out in the middle. It is. We cut and chiseled out a little bit on the inside. Well, the idea is to put it together like that. Take a screw and put the screw through in the center. And so let's give that a go by just drilling quickly. Let me just put the top away. Alright, so we're first going to just drill. Okay, uh, I think we're going to just go center. Okay, drill through. Looks good. Now we want to mirror that drill, drilling action on the opposite side. Okay, let's just take it. Okay, that works. We put our thing and 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 now we may have a problem because the nut we have has these wings on it and it can't screw so that's easily fixable we just try to find a regular nut that is like that that we can simply screw on all right so let me go and find a nut so the idea then here would be that you just simply pick up your lid and back our last innovation has to do with this hook that we thought might be a good idea to have like that so what we did is we took from the same block still chiseled out a little bit we are going to just drill those on and the idea is to see if we can't just pick it up like that all right so now what I'm going to do is just on the outside drill some pilot holes I'm gonna hold that down screw these two in Okay, and now what we have is a hook, carry up, lift up, put down. All right. Please, in the comments below, let me know what your innovative ideas would be for the Poiki. And if you have something special, please take a picture and share it with me. I hope that this uh, new year is going to be fabulous and you're going to really take the time to make a lot more koikis and just relax with family. Love and kisses always.